So here we are the next day almost. The last part of the video was actually done at 12 a.m. Now it's 8 p.m. of the same day. And I've been installing some programs on this Windows 10 installation. Although I like Windows 10 more than 8, it's still not my favorite Windows version because it installed these stupid smartphone type games like Bubble Witch 3 Saga, Candy Crush Soda Saga, Disney Magic Kingdoms, and a lot more. I did not install those, they all got there automatically and they are also here. Besides, I prefer the start menu when it's thinner like this. See, this is this is stupid and I don't want any of this stuff. But at least you can easily uninstall them. This reminds me of the ads that, that were in Windows 98. It had like, um, like a little box here on the desktop with uh, links to different websites. And this stuff in Windows 10 is basically the modern equivalent of it. So that's not great. It also detected my HP printer in the network and installed this HP Smart application automatically. So that's one useful thing. I can uh, print to my network printer without downloading and installing drivers. It did everything by itself. So that's one useful thing, but everything else, every other automatic app installation here is not useful. I think that's it. I could also uninstall some other apps, but the stupidest ones are gone, I think. Well, there's Minecraft too, but I think that's just the link doesn't offer the option to uninstall it. It also installed the Solitaire app, but Solitaire has been a part of Windows for a very long time, so I can keep that. Although, last time I tried it, it looked all corrupted. Let's try it again now. And I did install the video drivers. The last version of the video drivers was actually for Windows Vista, but, they worked, but the drivers worked fine in Windows 10. And yeah, for some reason it's still corrupted. I mean, the animations are all there and the game is working, but it's, it's unplayable. So I guess I have to get the older version from Windows 7. When I was setting it up, I turned off Cortana and it automatically reverted from the Cortana thing to just search Windows, which is nice. I can still use it to search for stuff in the start. Oh, well, that's why Cortana went away. It had the region set to United States. I changed it to Italy and now I cannot use Cortana anymore. So that's way better than using like weird hacks or something. Yeah, and Windows is in English, but I can add a, a language and change it to another language. This is the latest version of Windows 10, the Fall Creators Update. As you can see by this people icon in the taskbar. And funnily enough, on my newest computer, my 2015 HP laptop, on that one I'm still on the Creators Update because when I tried updating to Fall Creators Update, it, it was stuck on a black screen. And I read that you have to disable the app readiness service, so I did that. And then all Metro apps stopped working, including settings, which I needed. So I had to revert back to the previous creators update instead of fall creators update. And because I also have Windows 10 Pro on that computer, I just deferred the feature updates. But I still get security updates. And again, because this computer is kind of slow with the mechanical hard drive, I'm not going to keep this installation for too long, but it doesn't work too badly, actually. I think I've just been spoiled by the SSDs in my newer computers. But Windows 10 on this computer with 2 gigs of RAM and, and this older Intel Core 2 Duo, it works fine. It's pretty good. And here I have the option to go back to Windows 8.1 which will go away after 10 days, but I'm gonna make it go away right now by running disk cleanup. 
because there is a folder called windows.old which keeps your old version of windows for a few days after upgrading but if windows 10 doesn't work out i'm gonna wipe the whole hard drive and reinstall something else i'm not gonna go back to windows 8. well this is still calculating let's see how much hard drive space is used 32.3 gigs so if this was a cheap computer with a 32 gigabyte emmc drive i couldn't have done all of this because it would have already been full I think this is gonna take a while. There's how much free space we can free up by deleting Windows 8. You will no longer be able to restore the machine back to the previous version of Windows. Are you sure that you want to do this? Yes. I forgot to turn off the suggestions in the start menu. But I'm intrigued by this. You're almost there, finish phone setup. It didn't detect my phone in the network, did it? Oh, and the scrolling with the middle mouse button doesn't work in Metro apps, even though it, it recognizes it. But no, this is just the generic phone settings. So it's just a suggestion, so let's turn that off. now suggestions are gone. I also realized that the SATA controller was set up as compatibility mode in the BIOS, so I wanted to change it to AHCI, which should be better especially on SSDs but even on regular mechanical hard drives. But the problem is, if you do that, Windows will crash on startup and say inaccessible boot device. But there's a trick you can do. You can open MS config and set it to boot with the minimal safe boot. Press OK and tell it to restart. And then access the BIOS setup and set it to AHCI mode. Then let Windows start up in safe mode, which will work. Go back to MS config and turn off the safe boot. Reboot again and there you go, it works. To prove that, we can open device manager and see that it has the AHCI controller over here. It kind of feels a bit faster, but barely. It's probably just a placebo effect. But on Windows versions newer than XP, it's better if you have it on AHCI, so I'm glad it worked without having to reinstall Windows. I put in the battery. And now let's try starting it up. I looked up this error code. The solution is basically update your video drivers, but the latest video drivers for this graphics card are for Windows Vista. And they work when I am when I have the computer plugged into AC power without the battery. But if I try starting it up on battery power, it crashes. And by the way, this QR code just redirects you to windows.com slash stop code. It's not a specific QR code. Let's see if we can... Uh, I think it's not going to work on Windows 10, will it? I don't remember. I think you can start it up by holding shift, maybe. I held down shift and now it says please wait. Let's see if we can at least temporarily disable the ATI video driver so I can use that when I'm outside the house and then use the proper driver when it's plugged in. Because this is pretty much a deal breaker. I think we can just do startup settings maybe. Enable low resolution video mode, I think you can turn up the resolution after that, but it will load without the drivers, basically. Maybe. Okay, so it's 3 or F3 for low resolution video. And it still doesn't work. I wonder if Startup Prepare can fix this. I, I doubt it, because it's obviously a problem with the video driver, but let's see. No 
hope it doesn't work. Can we try safe mode at least? And it works in safe mode. How incredibly unsurprising. It tries to open this tips app, but then it just closes. The problem isn't with the monitor, but it's with the display adapter. Oh, if we can disable it without uninstalling it, that would be nicer. So disable it when I'm on battery power and then re-enable it when it's plugged in. I think it should have crashed by now, so it looks like it's booting up. And I also set up my fingerprint, so let's see if it works. It's a bit slow here, that's normal. And the reason it starts up so slowly is because I guess it logs in. And makes it look like it's extremely fast even though it isn't but it works now except we don't have the video driver enabled it's still installed but disabled why is it opening edge once this loads we can check it out and there you go it's there but disabled so it's using the microsoft basic video driver and this is the page that it automatically opened just out of curiosity, let's see if Microsoft Solitaire Collection now works without the proper video driver. Because you saw earlier that it was corrupted. Come on, my phone's running out of battery power. It's at 5%. While this computer is at 42%. And I think I've been using it for about half an hour or something, but it wasn't full when I... When I picked it up, it was some at something like 70%, so the battery life isn't great, but it's not the worst either. And the animations are more choppy, which is the main reason I wanted to have the proper video driver. But as you can see, even though the animations are choppy, Solitaire is now playable. But when this computer is plugged in, I'm gonna keep the video driver enabled. This computer is quite good, especially for the low price I paid. I'm really happy with it. The people who say ThinkPads are solid computers and all that are right. Obviously, this computer needs some upgrades because it's a few years old to say the least, but for what it is, I really cannot complain. So thank you for watching. Just a quick thing while my phone is at 3% battery. Let's see if we can enable the this while it's on battery power or if, or if it will just crash. No, it looks like it's enabled. That's just a remnant of uh, whatever accessibility thing was. Uh, that thing I enabled earlier in Windows 8. Seems like it's working now. It's definitely smoother. But I've tried this before, it works for a little while, but if you reboot or just put it to sleep mode and turn it back on, it will crash. So, no, it's still unplayable. So, that's really sad.